Hey guys, welcome back to the Wall Street Bull Anthony here. I hope you're all doing well and staying safe out there. Big shout out and thank you to those of you who have subscribed to the channel. Look at that number, it's growing every single day. Thank you very much, I really appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you smash the subscribe button down there and turn on that little bell notification as well because I love doing these videos on a regular basis, documenting my incredible journey with investing with cryptos, dividend stocks, growth stocks, talking about passive income, building financial freedom, and yes, my goal at the end of the day is to build generational wealth. So come along this incredible journey. We are literally just getting started. It's very exciting. Also, give this video a thumbs up. Would really help me push the channel out to a lot more people, all right? Because the YouTube algorithm is absolute magic when you guys do that. So thank you very much. Let's get straight into it. Little disclaimer, I am not a financial advisor. Please do your own research and due diligence with this stuff. I do not want to see anyone get financially hurt. Please be careful. You can lose money like that, especially in cryptocurrencies, all right? Me, my golden rule is I only invest what I can afford to lose. Yes, we don't like to lose, but you have to set a limit, all right? Please be careful. Do not take what I say as financial advice in this video. All right, formalities are out of the way. Let's get straight into um, CoinSpot. This is where I buy my cryptocurrencies in Australia. Please feel free to use the referral link below if you want to get started. Do your own research though. You can get $10 in Bitcoin to help you get started. Let's go have a look at these prices in Australian dollars because we're seeing some nice greens today. And then we'll get into some other news about Hedera, which is going to be very bullish. And I think we're going to see an incredible price jump given the fact that they're partnerships and what's happening with Hedera. So we'll get into that in a second. All right, Bitcoin sitting at $54,000 today, up 2.42%. Very nice. I don't care. We're still in this you know, phase of consolidation right now, and Bitcoin hasn't really dropped below that. So it's really nice. Ethereum, 3,700. Um, and those insane price predictions from Kathy Woods yesterday, anything is possible, guys, for it to hit 180,000 US dollars. Now, that would be insanity. But nothing is in the realm of impossible. Anyway, let's have a look here. Cardano is $1.55, XRP, 90 cents. Obviously, I watched the video from Jeremy Hogan this morning about this case with the SEC. And uh, I believe Ripple has got the upper hand here. And the SEC is just playing games, delaying everything. And obviously, they have some real information in these Hinman documents that they're not willing to provide to the court because they know they're going to be in trouble. So they're probably just delaying this on purpose. That's what basically my opinion is on this. Anyway, 90 cents is still a great buying opportunity for XRP. Very bullish on that. Solana's 134. Luna's $74. Dogecoin, 20 cents. Dot, $26. Matic, again, bullish, $2.48. Look at everything in the green tape. It's very nice. Crow's up to 61 cents. Adam, $43. Link, $23. Near Protocol, $15. I am holding near, which is nice. Algo, $1.43. Very bullish on Algo. FTT is at $59, up 6.27%. Phantom, $3.13, XLM, $0.29, cents. Mana, $3.39, Hedera, bullish on Hedera, got some incredible news with that one, $0.31, cents. VeChain's up to $0.07, cents. still great buying opportunities to load up your bags, ladies and gentlemen, Sandbox, $5.26, you've got uh, Theta, $4.35 as well, they're part of this news update as well, by the way, so you've got Axe Infinity, $68, great entry point there for um play to earn games. Let's have a look here. IOTA, $1.20. Harmony One, 26 cents. Aave, $219. Quite expensive, but again, Aave is a very good project as well. The Graph, 61 cents. I'm invested in that Web3. It's going to be big. Uh, Engine is at $2.44. Neo, $28. Curve Dow, $4.31. Gala Games at 27 cents. Incredible gaming project as well. Play to earn. That's going to be big. Let's have a look here. Quant, $142. That's awesome. Great entry point for Quant. And obviously my other favorite here is XDC. Right down here, guys, at $0.09. Cents. So still plenty of time to DCA into XDC if you're looking for something to do with the banking coins, which I'm very bullish on as well. So now that that's out of the way, let's get into some news quickly here, guys. Crypto bubbles. I'm nice to see some greens finally on this, which is good. Wait for it to load. We've got Bora still up there, 25%. That has been pumping the last couple of days. I don't even know what it is. I'm going to look into it. Omi as well. I'm very bullish on the NFTs on VV app are incredible. Disney, Marvel, Cartoon Network, all that kind of stuff is on there. So you can get a hold of those if you're lucky. T Fuel, LRC, WeMix. Don't know what that is, but it is up 47%. HNT, XEM as well is up there. And we've got XYM. Uh, and sandbox as well, which is really nice as well. So that's pretty much it in terms of crypto crypto bubbles. Now, this is in relation to Hadera Hashgraph. Now, Hadera's got an incredible governance board, and I'm going to show you that in a second. Google Cloud is hiring a legion of blockchain experts to expand its business, guys. Now, when Google gets involved in something, 
we all know where it's going to end up, which is going to be parabolic. So, I mean, Google's the biggest search engine on the planet, and there are also many other things, you know, you know, with YouTube, they've got other influences as well. So it's just an incredible project. So Alphabet's Google Cloud division is forming a team of blockchain business uh, businesses after making a, cons, um, a concerted effort in retail in other industries. Google Cloud customers include blockchain companies such as da Dapper Labs, Hedera, and Theta Labs. Really interesting stuff here, guys. In the future, Google Cloud could accept payments in cryptocurrencies. Now, it's very bullish about this because Hedera is now involved with them to um, start creating DLTs, which is um, Digital Ledger Technologies right here, guys. So, dis oh, sorry, Distributed Ledger Technologies. Sorry, forgive me. So, those of you who don't know what it is, Distributed Ledger Technology DLT refers to technological infrastructure and protocols that allows a um, simultaneous access, validation, and record updating in an immutable manner across a network that's spe spread across multiple entities or locations. So DLT, more commonly known as blockchain technology, was introduced by Bitcoin and is now a buzzword in the technology world, given its potential across industries and sectors. In simple words, the DLT is all about the idea of decentralized network against the conventional centralized mechanism and is deemed to have a far-reaching implications on sectors and entities that have long relied upon a trusted third party. Now, this is a big move on behalf of Google now getting Hedera Hashgraph um, involved here. Hedera is an incredible project and just you know, the, the Hashgraph technology in itself, it's quite complicated to understand, very different to what's out every, uh, every other project out there. But guys, look at their governance board just to point things out, right? You can see here, Avery Division, De Denison there. You've got Boeing as well. So again, incredible governance board here. You've got Chainlink Labs. Let's just keep scrolling down here. DBS, what else we've got here? We've got Dentons as well. You've got Deutsche Telekom here. What else we've got here? DLL Piper, I believe they're an accounting firm. Don't hold me to that. I think it is. So you've got EDF here. What else we've got here? FIS. I believe that's uh, FPOS. For those of you who don't know who FPOS have been around for a, you know, a long time. Let's have a sip of water. So FPOS has been around for a long time, guys. I mean, I remember using my FPOS card back in the day. I mean, when I was a young kid. But anyway, that's incredible. See where we're at now. And you've also got Google on their governance board. So keep an eye on um, Hedera, ladies and gentlemen, because I think we're going to see some insane price movements in you know the next few months with uh, Hedera Hashgraph as well. IBM is on there as well. Let's just keep scrolling down here because I, I just want to scroll down. So you've got some other companies here. LG, everyone knows who LG is. If you don't, you're living under a rock. Keep scrolling down here, guys. You got ServiceNow. You got Shinhan Bank. They updated this as well. You got the Standard Bank as well. This used to be just a list. You've got Swirls here. Tata Communications here, UCL. What else have we got here? We've got Ypro and Zane. Now, the funny thing is they've, they've just got these empty spaces here. So I'm wondering who else is going to be coming on board in their governance board here. So, so Hedera addresses decentralization concerns by separating governance from consensus. Hedera's governance design assures no single company, small group of developers or node operators, operators has undue influence or control over the network. Uh, code-based direction. So members of the Hedera Governing Council share an equal vote in the direction of Hedera software and services. Hedera improvement proposals provide the Hedera community with opportunities for input. Decentralized nodes, fair responsibilities. So again, it's got an incredible governance board and basically big boys are backing Hedera as well. So let's just go to use cases. Payments, reduce costs and unlock revenue, tokenized assets, fraud mitigation, which is a big thing these days, identity, Data compliance, permission, um, permission, blockchain guys, case studies, see who's building the future on Hedera. Okay. Basically, that's it for Hedera. Let's go into some other news here. You've got Robinhood will likely wait for an outcome of the SEC vs. Ripple uh, lawsuit before listing Shiba Inu. So this is going to be interesting here, guys. So they're waiting basically to get a decision from the Ripple XRP case and the SEC in order to list Shiba Inu. I don't know why. But again, early this month, Robert CFO said that the company would not uh, ready to increase its presence in the crypto market segment, which was a major disappointment for Shiba Inu fans who hoped that the popular broker would finally list the meme coin. During the earnings call, the company's CEO, Vlad Tenev, said that Robinhood would um, 
was proactively engaging with regulators to respond to customers' demands for listing more cryptocurrencies. However, Robinhood was worried that the large number of coins could be cons uh, considered unregistered securities by the SEC. As a reminder, the SEC vs. Ripple Court battle is still ongoing and its results could have a huge impact on the crypto market, especially if the SEC wins the case, which I don't think is going to happen. So anyway, some other news here, guys. The US uh, SEC approves a new US exchange with blockchain feed faster settlements this is very interesting here guys so you've got the you now obviously the u.s securities exchange commission the people that we don't really like at the moment uh said on late thursday approved the country's 17th stock exchange a subsidiary of boston-based box exchange uh, which will incorporate blockchain technology so again positive step here guys but i mean they, this case with the sec and ripple is going to be a huge game changer for the entire crypto market what else we got here fidelity um, files with the sec to launch a metaverse etfs so fidelity is a huge company guys and i mean everyone should know them they are you know have obviously a lot in the stock market big funds you know etf index funds that kind of stuff here fidelity is a big big player here so after launching a bitcoin exchange traded fund in canada Fidelity has now shifted its focus towards the metaverse-based ETFs in the United States. So let's see what happens with this. Fidelity is a monster. President Joe Biden is going after Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. President Biden is planning an executive um, action against the federal agencies to regulate cryptocurrencies, digital assets, and Bitcoin. He contends this matter as national security. He's striking at a time when the crypto sector along with the stock market is going through tumultuous time losing large amounts of value and the federal reserve said it will start raising interest rates to cool down inflation his sites aren't only on bitcoin regulators will also look into stable coins nfts the biden administration will also coordinate efforts and uh, with regulators and global leaders just putting this out there on the table I don't think it's necess um, you know, necessarily Joe Biden that's saying this. I think it's just the people around him saying, I'm just putting it out there because I don't think the guy, to be quite honest, is uh, privy to anything to do with cryptocurrencies. Just saying. Anyway, that's just my opinion. Another, th another news update here for Ripple as well. UAE-based money transfer firm announces partnership with RippleNet. So again, Al Farden's reasons for joining Ripple, you know, no brainer here, guys. The United Arab Emirates based money transfer platform Al Fadan Exchange has partnered with Ripple to deal with its remittances. Firm will use the latter's blockchain to send funds across broad, um, borders and in real time. So, again, another partnership here with Ripple. They're unstoppable at the moment around the world. The only thing stopping them now is the US regulators. And it's really annoying because it's just stifling the technology growth here, which is inevitable. Blockchain and crypto are not going anywhere. Regardless of what happens here, guys, it's just going to ha you know, something will happen over here and it will just pop up in another country or another region where it's not going to be hassled by US regulators. And that's the truth. Anyway, let's go into Twitter today because there's a lot happening here. HBAR to the moon. If you look at the prices, you'll be bearish. If you look at the building that's happening in crypto industry, you will be bullish for sure. I agree with you. Thank you very much for that. Russian government agrees to road to a roadmap to regulate Bitcoin and will implement by the end of this year. Very good. This is the uh, in relation to the uh, Hedera and um, Google partnerships here, guys. So Richard Winman, the new head of strategy for digital assets at Google, has been present at nine Hedera governing council meetings. See four examples below. Thank you for uh, Coinman at the H Barbarian. This is awesome here. And you can see here, guys, this is a Hedera council meeting as well. This is from Feb 20, or 26th of February, 2020. You've got Richard Winman here, obviously with Google. And another tweet, if I can move my finger here, <laughs> give me a second. No, I don't know what's wrong with my phone. Here we go. Another one here as well from June 3rd, 2020, guys. And you can see his name there, Rich Winman there. So that's really bullish as well. Let's keep scrolling down here, guys. Finders experts say that Bitcoin is expected to peak at $93,000 this year before dropping to 76000 Nothing wrong with that, ladies and gentlemen. Again, we're very early. ETF giant Wisdom Tree is uh, launching a Bitcoin wallet. So again, Wisdom Tree is another monster here. Coin Bureau, legend man, I love your channel. So what a crazy week in crypto. But this is the ride we have chosen. So we have to embrace the ups and downs. I agree with you. Breaking Arizona approves bill officially making Bitcoin legal tender in the United States. There you go. It just goes to show crypto is not going anywhere. Fear and Greed Index, as of three hours ago, sitting at 24. We are slowly creeping up there, ladies and gentlemen. 
Google Cloud has formed a digital assets team to pick up the blockchain related business and he's looking at the possibility of taking payments from customers on uh, in cryptocurrencies guys so it's really bullish and again HBot to the moon thank you for this Google is going public about their intentions to build products on DLTs distributed ledger technologies and Hedera is playing a key role in this so guys Hedera is definitely one to keep your eyes on I think that's going to be a flyer dollar costing uh, averaging into Hedera and I have been for quite some time which is really nice Eleanor Terrett here guys new via Barrett's online the Biden administration is planning an executive action to reg regulate cryptocurrencies it's a matter of national security and what is expected to come in the next few weeks it's not Biden because uh, as I said I don't think he has any idea about cryptocurrencies um, so just putting it out there it's someone behind him doing this so Anyway, they're just trying to control the retail investors, guys. They're trying to take control. I'm putting it out there. That's just my opinion. Maybe Andre Kastama can give some us you know, some clue about this big news in relation to XDC. Now, this is in relation to letter from the Ministry of Justice on the of the UK ITFA and DNI initiative ending paper based trade. This is uh, obviously a fairly detailed letter here in relation to trade and global trade as well. So go and have a read of that on my page. I don't take too long here, guys. RippleNet has made a new partnership in the UAE. Very bullish. This is an interview in uh, with the Mr. Gensler here talking about Ripple. Crazy stuff here, guys. And this is from Pomp again. This is uh, legal tender in Arizona. So this is really good. And this is just passed apparently. So you can see here chapter legal tender here right there and bitcoin is there so that's incredible as well very bullish on that blockworks 76 billion dollar asset manager wisdom tree to launch wallet allowing users to buy bitcoin and crypto there you go breaking founder of media giant barstool sports just bought 29 bitcoin worth over 1 million dollars the whales are buying ladies and gentlemen google cloud could soon accept bitcoin after crypto launching uh and crypto after launching a blockchain unit there guys Texas Governor Candidate Don Huffins will make Bitcoin legal tender in Texas. That's awesome. You've got Nayib Bukele, forgive me for pronouncing your name wrong. Most people in the world, uh, most people go in the, when the world, uh, sorry, when the price is up, but the, uh, the safest and most profitable moment to buy is when the price is down. And I agree with you here, it's not rocket science. So invest a, a piece of your McDonald's paycheck in Bitcoin. Now go flip some more burgers, you lazy F whatever it is right i'm not going to say that this that's hilarious and then bitcoin mining and uh, obviously normal mining there gold mining so you can see here big difference here and again this is all uh, in relation to the arizona legal tender here guys so ripple is so confident thank you for e smitty here so ripple is so confident it will win the sec case uh that they are buying back all their private stocks so that they can go public when they win the case ripple equals apple amazon of payments xrp is the standard i agree with you here and perry john parker one day 500 xrp will be like holding 500 bitcoin even in today's price now just to put things in perspective <laughs> 500 bitcoin like now is probably worth i did the math last night it's about 133 million dollars so there you go pretty straightforward i'm not going to get into everything else let's go into coin uh, uh coin market cap right now check up on the market cap in general 1.7 trillion we are up in the green again i don't know why this app keeps doing this It's saying 40 trillion dollars there in trading volume is that a glitch? I don't know. It's the second time it's happened now. It's really annoying. BTC, 41%, 17% Ethereum, 17,100 cryptocurrencies, ladies and gentlemen, that goes up all the time. And we're in the green. The gain is obviously uh, Flow, Revain Coin, Bora, Stacks, OMG, and that's it. Let's go into my portfolio. Have a quick scroll through this. I'm not going to drag this out too long. We've got Bitcoin sitting at 37,000 US dollars. Cardano, a dollar and five. XRP, 61 cents. That is incredible, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Dogecoin is sitting at 14 cents. Matic is at dollar 68. Shiba Inu near protocol. Tron, Stella, Mana, Hedera. Again, very bullish on Hedera. Even with this news, I think it's going to be incredible. In the last 24 hours, it is up 2.53% at 21 cents and again the market cap is at 3.9 billion total supply is 50 billion so it's not something insane you know like trillions or 100 billion or whatever it is 50 billion is a nice number in my personal opinion anyway but hadera is an incredible project ladies and gentlemen check it out v chain at five cents sandbox theta btt the graph neo gala amp ecomi rose theta fuel holochain xdc again very bullish on this ladies and gentlemen six cents 
Great buying opportunity, Anchor, Searcoin, Telcoin, Nervos Network as well. I'm holding that. Ravain, Digibyte, MetaHero, Windlink, XYO, Superfarm, Reserve Rights, UFO Gaming, Constellation Dag, Reef. I'm still bullish on, ladies and gentlemen. And there is this is a great buying opportunity right now. It is one cent, under a cent USD. So again, loading up my bags of Reef to get at least 100 to 200,000. That's the, the, the goal there because I think that's going to be incredible. VThor, Electronium, Proton, XPR. I love their payment system, by the way. Veracity, I'm staking that now. And CoinSpot, earning some really nice interest. Kin, Acropolis, Gas, Ubix Network, Olympus Dow. I think is a rug pull anyway because I'm just crashed, honestly. And Pipple. Now, that's literally all the coins that I'm holding right now. I'm being very transparent with that. Let me know in the comments below what you think about HBAR. Are you bullish on it? I think I am now after seeing this partnership here with Google. I think some big things are coming out for Hedera as well, and it's incredibly cheap right now. So keep an eye on it. Let's talk in the comments, all right? Stay safe, everyone. Peace. Bye.